Hello and welcome to another bite-sized episode of the Sports Grab podcast, proudly supported by Deakin University. Each Thursday, we give you the tactics you can use to land a dream job in sport. This includes things like networking, interviewing, and career direction, but all focused on sport. I'm Ryan Walker, and I'm joined by Ruben Williams. G'day, Ryan. Now, for more regular content, follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. Just search sports grad and a big hello to our beloved sports grad community members all hanging out on discord if you want to connect with like-minded people and find a job in sport that you love join over 400 people who have landed more than 240 jobs in the sports industry just head to www.sportsgrad.com.au forward slash community to join now ryan today we are talking all about jobs in event management and to help us our good friend Sam Hickson from Football Australia, who's the event coordinator, has agreed to help us with a lot of the details. Yes, very exciting. Our man Sam. Yep. We've heard a lot from him in the last few months. Amazing role, event coordinator. Yep. Uh, so very good to get his input on this one because it is a, a really popular role. People love to work in this space in events. Mm. We heard from Sam in episode 185 when he was over in Doha with the Socceroos in the famous qualification match over there that was going wild. But uh, before we – if you want to hear more from that, go listen to that episode. <laughs> Event management, Ryan, why is this job important? Yeah, super important role. So event, event management is all about ensuring that the event runs smoothly, right? So in terms of um, an event coordinator role, the role basically just ensures that, you know, our, the national teams, and in, in this case we'll use Football Australia as a, an example, um, it ensures that all the matches, training, everything that the team's involved in, run smoothly and effective so uh, essentially looking after the complete life cycle of what the national team's up to um, and that's both before during and after the event nice one and so what sort of things do you get up to day to day in this type of role well there's plenty of things and as we saw from sam's video a while back it's involved celebrating sometimes <laughs> <laughs> but in general you know there's a few things that they do um just to name a few you know developing run sheets and event plans to make sure everyone knows what is happening at the event organizing parking and accreditation lists liaising with internal and external stakeholders um, and just arranging briefs and whatnot for both staff and also volunteers on, on match day. Beautiful. Uh, you mentioned a few people, but who do you work with in this type of role? Yeah, it's one of those roles that involves most stakeholder groups, but I think in terms of the key ones, it's, it's those internal departments such as marketing and commercial, um, obviously the venue staff as well, volunteers, logistics companies that's a big one as well for getting things in and outside of the stadium and then of course our sports presentation companies like broadcast partners and things like that to ensure that they're not uh overstepping the mark sometimes i guess with access to players and things like that but i think that just gives you a bit of a wide range of, of different people that you're speaking to yeah i think if you were to really list out all the logistics providers and hundreds. contractors you'd, there'd be a lot of people involved hundreds of people Mm. Now, Ryan, where do you do this job? Well, I, I, I think during the week, you, you're probably behind a desk. It, it is very much a, a desk role, but when you get to event time and, and sort of the, you know, days just prior and, and days just after, you'll very much be on your feet. You'll be with the team. You'll be travelling around. So if you are one of those people who enjoys a bit of bit of desk time but also enjoy being on your feet and, and travelling and doing those things, being close to the team, then this is a role that definitely is for you. Perfect. Well, how can I get this job? Well, Sam's outlined three big skills and they're organisation, communication and problem solving. And naming out all those things that you do day to day, I think that's probably spot on because you need to be seriously organised and be able to speak to people. So they're three uh, skills to have. But if you want to obviously do a uni degree to, to back that up, it's, it's probably in a Bachelor of Event Management or Bachelor of Sports Management. Um, just to give you that, you know, background knowledge, I guess, of, of the industry. Fantastic. Well, if you want to learn more from Sam Hickson at Football Australia, listen to episode 185. Or if you're a sports grad member, you can find Sam inside the sports grad community. He's very active posting on there. When he was over at... Um, over at the World Cup qualifiers, he was big on the hashtag WorkShare channel, just sending yes. in photos from the stadium in Qatar. So uh, if you're a member, make sure you connect with Sam. But otherwise, 
Connect with us on LinkedIn. Be sure to jump into the SportsGrad community. We can find us there. Head to www.sportsgrad.com.au forward slash community to join or head to the link in our show notes. Also, if you love the show, we'd love you to rate the show five stars wherever you get your podcast. Subscribe on Apple or follow on Spotify. Thank you for listening and we shall see you next time. 